All right, so the Season of the Risen title, which is Risen, is available to earn today. Of course, this is a season title, and this is for the Witch Queen's expansion. So as soon as the Witch Queen's expansion uh, goes, not goes away, but the next one comes out, this title will not be available to earn anymore. So you have pretty much, from the date of this recording, a full year uh, to earn it. If you're nearing the end, you, you're going to have to make sure you have at least three weeks to complete this title unless they change it similar to season of the lost where they had shadowed, shadowed realms that would rotate weekly and since legend psyops rotates weekly which is why it's important uh, they might change it eventually either at the end of the season or near the end of the expansion where these rotate daily instead of weekly so it'll take three days to complete but right now the time gate will be three weeks so this video is usually pretty long as i try to explain every single triumph in detail everything will be time stamped and maybe a short description in the comments and description of uh what you need to do for each one of course if you have, if you have any more questions if i missed something or messed up something here you can go ahead and comment below and i'll try to help you guys some more with this but the titles are actually pretty simple and pretty easy the main thing is mainly the three week lockout and LFGing or finding people to play with. You can solo everything here, but I do recommend doing this early where you can LFG and find people who are doing this as people will probably not do this after or that often after the season ends because these offer pinnacle and power rewards. And usually when the season ends, uh, the next season, usually the powerful rewards are not uh, offered anymore. So uh, good luck with that. All right. So like I start doing now is doing a short brief description of all these triumphs. So if you don't want to listen to me talk for 20 minutes about everything else, here I'll give you a nice rundown of everything. So Sonic Operator, this one is the seasonal quest line you'll get after the Wish Queen expansion uh, intro quest. Then we have unlock or upgrades. This is the upgrades are earned from seasonal challenges, usually the one on the top left. You can see it when you hover over it, it'll tell you that. Reset your reset your war table rank. This is getting just playing psyops uh, activities, and you get your rep up. Uh, this is passive. Don't need to focus this one that much. This one is defeat aspect seven through. This is pretty passive. Don't need to focus this one that much. You get three per run. Then we have legend battlegrounds. This is a three week timeout or time gate. So you have to take three weeks no matter what for now, unless it changes. Then we have mind reading. This one it's a bit hard to explain briefly, but uh, this one you have to listen to the radio and the helm five times better to listen to it then go back to orbit and then do it and then go back and then acts of mercy is defeating light hoarders we hit defeat four, 15 in total that's passive unless you skip them box obscura master difficulty you gotta lfg this uh, difficult but mainly challenges there's more champions in it old foes rise again this one is doing the box obscura mission four different times making sure you listen to the full message at the end of the quest this one is using seasonal weapons which is the season of the risen weapons and get 1500 kills you can farm infinitely either at the moon or the dungeon avarice grass of avaras then we have lastly earn reckless endangerment this is getting to legend rep system either on Gambit, Crucible, or Strikes, or Vanguard, I guess, and you can unlock it. So that's a brief rundown. So now I'm going to go into detail here through all of this. Like I said, everything will be timestamped, hopefully, and I will start off with the first one here. So the first triumph here is Psionic Operator. This is the seasonal quest line for Season of the Risen. Of course, you could probably do this whenever you want, of course, but it is very important to finish it as... You need it for everything else, obviously. So the way to start this is doing the Witch Queen's intro quests, which should be located on the map. So if you go to destinations and you head over to South and Throne Road, it should just start automatically here. Um, once you click on here and then once you do the intro quest, you can head to the tower and there will be a banner in the uh, the hangar here and you click on that it'll be cutscene and then it wants to go to the helm and then uh, you'll get some messages and then you'll be doing the operation elbrus quest line and there's four 
I guess, four things, four weeks, technically, but you can do it all in one day. But that would require you to basically do um, the PSYOPs missions eight times in total. Because it wants you to do, basically, I think maybe seven times in total, I think. Because it wants you to do the first one. It'll tell you, okay, go ahead and queue up at the EDZ and do this. And you do this one, and then it wants to get 500 currency, which is this one here. Psychronic Psy Intel, or Psychronic Genic Intel, whatever it's called. You get this you get this currency by doing anything in the game. Getting kills, doing activities, and once you get 500. And the max, max you can hold is 2,000 in total. But Bungie made it where if you were if you had max and that if you're on the quest step that says get 500 intel and you have, you're capped out, you can just still you can still get that done even if you're capped out. So you don't have to worry about using it. Usually back in the day you would just have to delete the stack, but getting 500 is super super easy. You're gonna be max on 2k most of the time. The only way to spend it at the moment is at the chest at the end when you when you're forced to go ahead and do the uh, match made activity which is located at the helm click on this and you'll be put into a matchmaking here and at the end you can spend 500 of that intel for the chest and you need to remember to do that don't forget to do it every single time you do that and you'll get that done uh very important so very very simple a lot of cutscenes, a lot of story uh you're gonna be playing psyops like at least seven times but you can do that all in one day very simple stuff Next, we have Applied Psychotronics. This one is getting all the upgrades of the war table. This one is time gated, similar to the Legend one. This will take three weeks, unless, like I've said, they nerf it and they will make it rotate weekly. Where the upgrades are is located in your seasonal challenges. And if it's if this is past Season of the Risen, they'll be located here in past challenges. So. The ones you're looking for are the ones on the top left. So this one will give you one upgrade. This one, this one, this one. And then week five is this one and this one. These two. And then the last two. And these will give you 10. And you have to do all those to get 10 vendor upgrades, pretty much. So simply, this one is this one you get automatically by doing the seasonal uh, weekly quest. Not weekly quest. Seasonal quest line. And for week two, you have to go ahead and do the week two part of the Operation Elbrus. That's just passive. No need to worry about that. And getting kills and psyops. This is passive. I wouldn't worry about too much of, you know, focusing on getting kills for this seasonal, seasonal weekly challenge. This is getting 100 kills in total. So very easy to do. Then for week three, you're going to have to go ahead and you could decode three runic chests. Uh, this is very easy as this is passive. You'll get this done as you're forced to do three Sobs missions anyways, which will lead you to, um, to unlocking three runic chests. So no big deal. Then week four is a bit difficult, a bit different. This one, you might take a bit more time in order to get this done, but I do have a little bit quicker way to do this. So this one requires you to spend Risen Umbro energies. What that really means is that when you go ahead and head over to the vendor here you can see that you can actually spend your risen umbro energy on either getting um who's the risen or you can spend it by getting armor or spend it by getting weapons as well and so you can see that the, the values here of 20 and 9 i think you, you can only hold 75 in total i could be wrong so you have to go ahead and spend 20 32 in total so you have to make sure you at least have 32 risen umbral energy and to get that challenge done right and you get risen umbral energy by pretty much by doing psyops but if you go to your upgrades as you should get it's getting some upgrades pretty much and you should be able to unlock any of them doesn't matter what order you get them in you can get them at any time um the one you want to get is pretty much uh this one right here Completing raids, dungeons, and non-seasonal playlist activities has a chance to grant Risen Umbro energy. So this will allow you to get like do strikes, crucible, gambit, you know, raids, dungeons, all that stuff, and you'll get Risen Risen Umbro energy just by playing any activity at this point. 
before you just only get it from just doing you know the psyops mission of course you can go ahead and uh get this one too or light hoarders will give you risen umbral energy so you get more for the most part so you know there's that right so you need to get 32 in total once you get that that is great but like i've said it is time get it once you get to week five here these are wait you have to wait for this so this one you have to do legendary on edz legendary on the cosmo drone and legendary on the moon so no matter what you'll get an upgrade for doing that but you have to do them anyways for another triumph these ones are against us killing light hoarders in the psyops and any of the three edz moon and cosmo drone and these are just passive unless you don't do it but no matter what as long as you kill them because you, you can do this in one day because you can just play the regular psyops uh playlist and you'll get that rotation between all three of the psyops missions so no big deal with that one there but there you go that's pretty much how you get that one done all 10 upgrades but uh this will it'll take you three weeks to do so no rush to get that done but you can focus on the other stuff as you should get 32 umbral risen energy hopefully in the three weeks of playing <laughs> the game for the most part all right so next triumph we have here is the psych warrior this one is resetting your war table rank so your reward table rank is located uh either if you go to if you put the queue up which is here or you go ahead and you um you see it here as well now it's just by playing sops or and decoding chests so you can either do do both so you, if you have 500 um and you complete it you'll be done pretty quickly and look, if you might not believe me, but the fastest way to rank up is doing a legend, the legend version. It gives you about a thousand rep for one activity clear if you do get the chest at the end and you just complete it. Um, a, it depending on your team, it, it could take like 15 minutes, 14 minutes per clear. And you can see uh, this, I'm rank six. I did reset, I did reset my rank basically um and i was rank one before i did the legend moon ops psyops and i'm rank six so that gave me a lot of rank up just from that it's quite insane how much we got from that one there so that's pretty much it it's a passive thing don't worry about it too much you'll get it done automatically like you're gonna play so much psyops like legendary can help but you'll get you you're forced to do three anyway so you're gonna get at that at least 3k uh rep from just playing legendary so good enough at that point but once you get to the max rank to prestige you to make once you get here to prestige you to pick up all these engrams and then the last engram at the end here and then you'll get your prestige once you claim everything here that's how you reset it if you didn't know that all right next up we have this house is clean this is defeating aspects of sabathun in the psyops battlegrounds with the somatic spear i mean you can only damage her with the sphere so each run of psyops use three of them that spawn and that'll take you 34 runs in total but you should not focus on that it just it's a you you should be attacking her at least you know should be defeating her this will be done passively 100 is a, not a lot like i said it was three per run and if you want to reset your rotator rank and everything else you force to do seven here that's 24 if you do on three characters that's 72 you can be done very quickly but I wouldn't worry about this too much. You be, should be get it passively done. Don't worry about it too much. It should be pretty easy. Next up, this is like I've explained many times already. Legend Battlegrounds is located here in the helm. Rotates weekly. So you have to wait per week to get this done. It does give you a pinnacle drop when you do do it, which is nice if you need the pinnacle drop. And a lot of loot drops. A lot of loot and very high chance for red borders. So if that's what you want to do. You can do that too as well. So... This, like I said, might change to daily rotation eventually, but right now, you're forced to wait three weeks for that one. All right. Next up, we have mind reading. It's a bit. This one's a bit confusing, but I can tell you exactly what you need to do. So this one, it wants you to get lore pages for Acts of Mercy and Quintessence, right? And so here are the things you need to know. So to get the Acts of Mercy page, you get one Acts of Mercy page by doing all all four of these steps here you get one i'm pretty sure 
or is it I think it's quintessence. I don't even know. Something like that. You get yeah you get, you get a lore page for that, right? And then you get more lore pages once you listen to all the messages in the helm. So what that means is that you know you get four pages for Axe of Mercy here, yes. You get one Axe of Mercy page uh for this one. Am I wrong about this? No, we get this is quintessence. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, hang on. You get five, you get four contestants pages here and then one contestants page over here. That's, that's what you need to do. Psionic operator is passive. You get that done for a triumph and you need it for the title. Then active listener. All you need to do is go ahead and head over here. Listen to the message. And then you can go back to orbit and then come back and you should listen to it again. This was a weekly lockout, but you should be able to do it in one day. I don't know if you need, I don't, don't I think you might need to do uh, Operation Elbrus first, the full four full quest line. But if you did it all in one go and you didn't listen to any message and you should be able to interact with it, then go back to orbit and then come back into the helm and should be able to interact with it again. And that should let you get the five messages to listen to pretty much. And then once you listen to all five, you get the one book of quintessence there. Then after that, the next one, pretty simple to go ahead and do uh what's it called over your dead body this is defeating light hoarders and psyops this might be uh a secret triumph but if once you get to week three of the seasonal quest or week four see oh, uh, week three i'll tell you to defeat light hoarders and light hoarders are very simple to find light hoarders are well, if you if you do the playlist activity for psyops not the ones you can queue up uh, manually on the uh, patrol areas. The, the uh, light hoarders will spawn in the very beginning of each, well, the first encounter basically, of each Psyops Battlegrounds, and they'll be next to a white totem. You have to shoot the white totem to make them unimmune, but they're very, very tanky. And I think they can run away, I'm not entirely sure about that, but you should be able to see them, and hopefully your team can kill it, because if you do kill it, you get decent rewards as well, but you need to kill 15 of those in total. So that's 15 runs, and I would recommend doing four runs. I know you could probably cheese it by just, you know, killing it and then leaving and then doing another one. But I, I recommend, since you have everything else with it, with like resetting your rank and, you know, getting Sabathun kills, I would run the full thing and get 15, it's just 15 runs, extra runs. Not extra, it's just 15 runs in total, which you can get everything else done. So you shouldn't, it's not passive as you can skip it, but do focus it at the very beginning of each psyops and you know kill it it is hard but uh it is me need to kill them at least 15 so that's that's it pretty much next we have tank master this one is doing the master difficulty of vox obscura i'm pretty sure you have to go ahead and beat the original or the not master version i'm not entirely sure it's unlocked already but to go ahead and do that you go ahead to sabathun's throne road and then you have up here vox obscura and you can click on master master is only 1580 um so it's hard to explain without showing this but vox obscura master all that's different between normal and master obviously everything hit, hits harder um but there's more and more champions instead of having unstoppable champions only there's going to be barrier champions as well so my best advice is always just lfg it is going to be difficult later in the season or later in the year to find people to do it with but uh as long as you're close to the power level, even though I did mine on the first day of Master, which was 15, I was like 1565, so like 15 below the power level, it was pretty fun. Um, it just, you know, take it a bit slow, but you can't because of the timer. But, uh, I, but I do recommend using Arbalisk, it's pretty good uh, for just the shields and the barrier champions. And on top of all, you can use a Pulse Rifle or whatever you like to use, pretty much. Um, solar and void shields i think there's more void shields than solar but that's up to you what you want to use and then match game and all that stuff so it's just more champions and all that stuff i can't really show much because it's that um but uh as long as you lfg or ye or solo it there's probably some cheese out there but i recommend uh doing it with an lfg it's very easy to lfg so not a big deal so Next up, we have Old Foes Rise Again. 
This one is listen to all four unique psionic propaganda messages in the Vox Obscura Exotic Quest. So at the very end of the Vox Obscura Quest, you can interact with a panel. We're going to make sure you listen to the full dialogue until it says activity completed. Once you do that, you should be able to run it again on the same day or over in a row. And you can do it again and do it. So basically, it's all it wants you to do is do it four times, which sounds boring. But as long as you do it four times, you can get this done in one day. Um, there's no time. There's no lot. There's no time gate. What's a bit buggy is that you might think, oh, I want to run on different characters and the progress should be the same, but it won't. The triumph will be buggy. It might not show it. So I recommend do it on one character uh, all four times, um, but you don't have to do master. You can do normal, normal difficulty, which makes it a lot easier to do this. As I play with peak operator, peak operator is literally very easy to do passive. If you want to use weapons, you want to use the seasonal weapons, which are the weapons over here. Get it from setup so you can craft it here using your umbro risen umbro energy on stuff. Any of these weapons you use, you can go ahead and just farm 1500 kills. Seems like a lot, but if you've been using it in psyop missions, I recommend you know just using something from here and use it during those activities. The one I used to farm the most was with the grenade launcher, as you can see here. Uh, which one is it? This one 700 kills I farmed. And uh, I use a little bit of the pulse rifle, but it's not here, sadly. But yeah, I just farmed with that. And so where I farmed, you can farm a couple spots. Like I said, unless you don't want to just use it in the activity and you just want to get it done fast. There's always there's three spots you can use. That's really good. Of course, it's a bit slow, but you can do still the Shiro's she in the last wish raid, or you can go to the moon and head to Soros Harbor and do the activity there. Or if you have the 30th anniversary bundle, you can go ahead and do the Grass of Avarice and then the Loot Cave with the infinite spawning of the Thrall and the Acolytes and the, and the uh, yeah, pretty much that. So, of course, Thrall, yes. So there is that, but I recommend just using a weapon, a heavy or the grenade launcher and just use it during your sobs and get it passively done. It is a lot, but if you see 100 kills, that's just how it is. Lastly, the last thing is Reckless Shot. Reckless Shot is the shotgun you can earn from doing any of the vendors. So Gambit, Vanguard, and Crucible. And you have to get to Legend rank on that vendor. Now, it seems like a lot of work, which it is, but at least you have a choice between three. If you like strikes more than do strikes, knife falls, if you like gambit, play a lot of gambit. If you like crucible, you could play trials, you could play competitive, you could play uh iron banner, you could play the fun game mode, scorched, moment of control, mayhem, anything you like. Crucible is probably the easiest in my opinion, because of the fun game modes. If you like trials and you play during times two crucible rep, you'll get it done really, really fast. If you play strikes, you can play uh, Nightfalls during times two Vanguard rep, um, and I'll give you a ton of rep very, very fast. So it's nothing much you can do. That's pretty passive, but uh, you pretty much just have to do that, and that's it pretty much. So that's all the triumphs there. Get to legend for the shotgun, and that's pretty much it. I'm looking for it, but I'm blind. I don't see it, sadly. And. Uh... Here it is. Reckless Endangerment is the shotgun we're looking for. You can go to the vendors on uh, the tower and you can see it as a reward there at the legend rank. So hopefully that helped a little bit. It is available to get um, in comparison to Gumshoe. Gumshoe's a bit harder, maybe, uh, but only apparently to according to Braytech is only 1% people have this according to this. So Risen probably has less, um, but you know, I don't know. I don't think it's updated. Let me see. It's a bit too early to check, but out of the 700,000 people who are indexed by uh, the Volopsa, Volopsa, um right now it's a bit too early to tell, but if you look at the uh, Gumshoe one, you can see 1%, 1.2% people have this title still. So it's still pretty new, and I wouldn't worry about it. You know, like I said, you have like a whole year to get this stuff. Um, but 
risen. We'll take a look how much we'll have this. It's going to be very, very low, but because the lowest one here is 5%, people have this. So it depends on how much we're actually keeping track of these triumphs here. So who knows? But that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed that and found that helpful at some point. Um, like everything will be timestamp descriptions will have extra information ask questions below um, um next thing i don't want to date this video but guardian games is next so hopefully something cool happens but that's a month from this video so fun stuff there you go hopefully you guys enjoy that and uh yeah cool